No niin, täällä on aloitusquesti Elder Scrolls Onlinein tulevasta DLCstä pelattavissa ja ajattelin, että me voitais, voitais tosiaan niin kuin pelata sitä. Tähän on täyttämässä vuosia, nimittäin tää on seitsemän vuotta täyttämässä ja täällä on juhlallisuudet menossa. Sillä aikaa voi muun muassa syödä kakkua ja saada sitä palkintoja. Mutta ensimmäisenä katsotaan tosiaan. Mistäs me saatas? Aloitus. No niin. Eli Shrine of the Blackmore Shadow Fenissä. Mä oon tän alueen pelannut 2014 läpi. Käytännössä tällä hahmolla. Kohtarki on itse asiassa mun, mun ensimmäinen, ensimmäinen hahmo, minkä mä oon tehnyt tähän. Tai no, käytännössä toinen, beta, betan jälkeen. Beta jälkeen, niin kun. Vibin jälkeen ensimmäinen pysyvä hahmo. Ja niin kuin näkyy, niin täällä alkaa Tamrielissa olla aika paljon pelattavaa. Aika suuri osa tästä maailmasta on jo pelattavissa. Eli nämä on niin kuin seitsemän vuoden aikana saanut tosi kivasti kaikkea aikaiseksi. Shadowfen on tosiaan Argonian eli liskomiesten tosiaan niinku aluetta. Ne oli mustiohaltioiden orjuttomana, mutta sitten löytyy yhteinen vihollinen ja niitä on löytynyt siitä lähtien, että omalla tavallaan ihan, ihan tyylikäs paikka tämäkin, mutta tämä musta, musta metsä tulee olemaan tosiaan alue, mikä oli Elderskos nelosessa Oblivionissa. Oli se, se alue, mutta niin, niin, ää, sitä ei ollut hirveästi elaboroitu, se oli enimmäkseen metsää ja vähän tietä ja yksi kaupunki. Leijaviin pitäisi tulla tosiaan tähän näin ja me, Mehrunes Deikon Daedrapin prinssi myöskin uhkaa, uhkaa omalla juonellaan Tamrieliä. Eli aika lähellä ollaan niin Oblivion ja taas tämän uuden, uuden lisäosan niin aiheiden suhteen. Lyrant on tosiaan Daedra, joka, johon ne on törmätty tässä näin muutamassa, muutamassakin juonessa. Ihan perusperusta lähtien. Tässä on muuten tullut ihan, ihan uusi päivitys näihin champion-pisteisiin. Eli 50 tason jälkeen tässä kerätään niin sanotusti champion-pisteitä. Ne oli veteran pointsia ja sitten ne champion-pisteitä. Ja nyt tuli kakkosversio tästä systeemistä. Mä näytän aika nopeasti. Eli tässä on niin kuin kolme tähtikuvioa, mihin voidaan jakaa pisteitä. Ja tää on vähän niin kuin skyrimissä. Eli niin kuin lähdetään... Otas nyt mistä täällä lähdettiin jostain tuolta. Ja sitten sitä tässä edetään tässä kuviossa pistämällä pisteitä. Tosta pystyy aloittamaan ja tosta. Niin, niin. Täällä on tämmöisiä irtonaisia, mihin voi pistää pisteitä. 
pääasiassa edetään tätä näin, että jos haluaa tänne pistää, niin pitäisi tä ostaa tästä välistä kaikki. Ää, vähän ehkä on enemmän tulee vahinkoa, vähän lievästi julmempi ehkä aloittaville pelaajille. E helposemmin tulee vahinkoa, mutta tämä on ehkä otettu aika kivasti tasapainottuvana tekijänä va vastaan tämä uusi Champion Point-systeemi. Ja sitten niin näitä on tosiaan näitä merkintöjä. Täällä on pistänyt pisteitä. Ne täytyy raahata tänne näin niin kuin ylä, yläkertaan. Nyt sulla voi olla neljä, neljä tällaista tähtimerkkiä kaikista tähtiryhmistä kerrallaan aktiivisena. Eli, eli kaikki ei voi myöskään saada. Interest. Does a Dagon cult have in this place? Flee? Do your worst, Dramora. I'll tell you nothing. I'll squeeze the knowledge out of you. Damn. Yeah. I forgot how fragile mortals can be. Yeah. Did it Ah, you have arrived. Excellent. I found you both mildly interesting and suitably helpful in the past. Mildly interesting. Let us endeavor to continue that streak. This Mayruin's Dagon cultist refused to answer my questions, and I may have insisted a bit too vigorously. Since last our paths crossed, I ran afoul of these Mayruin's Dagon followers. While I was investigating their activities, I ran into an obstacle. As much as it pains me to admit, but this requires a mortal's touch. I need your assistance. An imperial cache hides behind that doorway. Okay. Unfortunately, the entrance has been warded to prevent entry by anyone, including those of the Daedric persuasion. I need you to shatter the ward and help me discover the cache's secret. Take this amulet. I went to great trouble to acquire it. With it, you should be able to destroy the ward and open the way into the annex. We must reach the secrets inside before the Dagonists get to them. The fate of your world depends on it. Keep up. The amulet should allow you to remove the ward so we may enter the concealed annex. I had it specifically constructed just for this purpose. But it will only function for a mortal. Hurry now. I haven't gone all day. I acquired a map from the Mayroon's Dagon cultists that indicates an Imperial cache is hidden inside. I want to reach that cache before they do, and find out what Emperor Leovic thought was important enough to hide from mortals and Daedra alike. Leovic oli entinen, entinen, le, entinen tota, uh, keisari joka oli Reach-mänejä, eli tota, Reachin barbaaria. Tavattiin sen sukulainen tuossa edellisessä lisäosassa. Don't the actions of the Daedric princes when turned in this direction always concern the fate of this particular ball of mud? 
The Longhouse Emperors have protected a secret for three generations. A secret that involves Mayroon's Dagon. Niin, miten, miten barbaarit pääsee, pääsee yhtäkkiä Imperiumin keisariksi? Vai barbaaris huku? Hyvä kysymys. A secret guarded from mortals and Daedra alike that involves the Prince of Destruction? I do not think the threat could be any more clear if they painted us a picture. What form that threat will take, however, that is what I hope to ascertain. How remarkably narrow-minded you mortals can be. What is your definition of evil? Do I care for the lives of mortals? No. Do you care for the lives of ants that crawl beneath your feet? Our interests are aligned at this time. That should suffice. Mayroon's Dagon is one of the Daedric princes, the Lords of Oblivion. Specifically, he is the Prince of Destruction, Revolution, and Ambition. Natural disasters are his forte, though some consider him nothing more than a god of bloodshed and betrayal. Concern? I am not concerned. I am curious. Secrets intrigue me. If anyone should be concerned, little mortal, it is you. When a cult devoted to the god of destruction performs mysterious deeds upon your doorstep, there is a good chance your home will soon be engulfed in fire, devoured by earthquakes, or submerged in a raging flood. Mm. And by Point your the... home, I mean Nern. I saw the Dagonists use magic to temporarily disable the ward. Their power is limited, however, and the ward reasserted itself before I could follow them. Only power akin to the amulet can totally destroy the ward. Do you assume I am without resources? That I do not have connections in both the Mundus and throughout the Plains of Oblivion? I have given you the amulet, and it will do its job. Nothing else matters, little mortal. The protective ward is deadly to Daedra. Uh. As a mortal, you are perfectly immune to any such dangers. The ward simply bars your way. Besides, the amulet can only be used by a mortal. That's part of the reason it can destroy the ward. As a mortal, you are immune to the harmful effects of the protective ward. As long as it is in place, however, it will prevent either of us from passing through the warded doorway. That is its primary function, after to all. Toisaalta päähenkilöllä on äh, Daedra-sialu. Paremman puutteessa. The ward has fallen. Let us see what waits inside. I sense more wards ahead. Deal with them. I shall wait here. No need, but the others do. Ja näitä toi tostauttaminen on merkattu varastamiseksi. Samoin tästä. Eilien. Tänään tää. Yeah. <laughs> 
ja respaa nopeasti. Varmaan kun on näitä pelaajia pyörimässä ympärissä. Tämä jaetussa monin peliympäristössä on aina vähän ongelma, jos muut, muut niin pelaajat pyörii jaloissa, niin kun sä yrität tehdä questia. Ajattele siinä sitten, että se on eeppinen. Linking Flame. Kuitenkin oli jo päästy tänne näin. rinnan mitalla niin kuin ne voitettiin sitten. You destroyed the war. You destroyed the wards. I felt each one shatter in turn. Well done, little mortal. Now tell me, what did you find? Let me see them. Hmm. A collection of apparently mundane items, at least on the surface. But look at this scroll. It not only bears the seal of the last Longhouse Emperor, it has been ensorcelled so that it cannot be unfurled or read. Interesting. <laughs> Architectural plans from the looks of it, and not the mundane engineering so common to your world. No. These plans include powerful Daedric elements. Some sort of vault, obviously. Strengthened and enhanced by a complex arcane matrix. Intriguing. It marks a location in Grotwood. Ne Salas. Another ruin. And perhaps another annex. I'll open a portal to take you there. Keep the amulet. It retains power enough to deal with a few more wars. While you search, I shall try to read the scroll. Oh, see no good game is This portal will take you to Nay oh. Salas. Raid the caches while I deal with the ensorcelled scroll. See now get the game is the Trust me, Thandil. Magical transport is the only way this many red guard could have appeared here so suddenly. We need to cut them off before an entire army is on our doorstep. In a little to that quest here, they had this in there. One more step and you get an arrow in the knee. Hey, you don't look like a cultist. You're not a Covenant soldier or one of those damn cultists. You're... you! By Barzrog's chilly nethers. Tää Am I glad to see you? Between missä. the soldiers and the cultists, this is almost as bad as that business in Orsinium. But what are you doing here? Imperial caches? What a coincidence! That's exactly what brought me here. But then I ran into this band of wood elves. They're under assault by Covenant soldiers and a group of insane Daedric cultists. It's just like an Investigator Vale story. No niin, but tietysti. Investigator Vale on siis niinku äh, neiti etsivä tai Agatha Christie niinku Morvin <laughs> Tamrielissä. The cultists are after the cash too? That explains a lot. Their leader is someone called Doombringer Eschild. And he's got some kind of scholar lady following him around like a sad puppy. Farther in, I'm guessing. The cult leader paid off the soldiers, and they let him and his followers wander through. If you can clear a path, I'll get these wood elves out of here and then follow after you. We can meet up when you find the cultists. Not much. I heard a few of the cultists mention his name. 
said it with a mixture of awe and respect. I think they're afraid of him. I noticed that the woman scholar stayed close to the leader's side. She was explaining the history of this place. I found a journal in Black Drake Villa, a hidden refuge of the Longhouse Emperors. It was in some kind of code, so it took me a while to figure out what it said. Well, actually, I had someone decipher it for me. Even deciphered, the journal didn't make much sense. Emperor Leovic wrote it. Lots of crazy talk about annexes around Tamriel, where he hid caches related to something he called the Emperor's Secret. I decided to investigate, so here I am. I'm just a young wood elf with a good bow and a thirst for adventure. I plan to make a name for myself, and this seems like the perfect opportunity. Provided I don't get sacrificed in some stupid Daedric ceremony along the way. Yeah, I understand. Cracked acorns. You established adventurers don't understand. When you're starting out, it's hard to become recognized as a real hero. But that's what I want to be. Just like in the Investigator Vale and Green Hood stories. Once I get these wood elves out of here, I'll catch up with you. Jaha, et komenat ne on jos jossain, jossain määrin niinku liitossa. Hyvin samanlainen ää, rakenteeltaan kuin toi. Se on keisarin salaisuus, niin ei ihmekä, että moni voisi olla sen perässä, mutta miten ne auttaa, ne auttaa kultistilta komentoja. They destroyed the ward and marched right in. This whole situation, it's gone roots up faster than a Nord eats pie. We were trying to get back to the others, avoiding the soldiers as best we could. But we ran right into the cultists. They wounded me, but I played dead. Watched the scholar lady work her magic and break the ward. They hid it inside and then a wood elf. Slipped out of the shadows, but not one of my mates said her name was Everly Sharp. She made sure I wasn't bleeding too badly, and went in after the cultists. Don't shake any branches on my account. I just need a moment, and then I'll sneak out of this place. Can't say the same about my mates, though. But if you plan to help Everly and do something about those cultists, you better get a move on. you about and that must be the imperial cash okay. what can i say i'm as fast as a leaf on the wind and silent as a shadow oh, i suggest we take different paths to that chamber just in case 
I'll meet you down there. Last one to put an arrow in the cultist is a sour gore apple. That's an odd question. I was hired to find another book at Black Drake Villa and came across the journal. I was curious and I had some time, so I had the journal decipher. Turned out to be a lot of ramblings. Emperor Leovic was either crazy or desperate. The coded message had that sort of air about it. But yes, he alluded to some end of the world level stuff along with the rest of his crazy. I came here to see if there was any truth to the danger, to go along with his obvious delusions. We must recover the danger weapons, Pettigrew. Bring me the contents of that cache as soon as you have them. I will not fail, Divine Brayer. I'll have the wards down momentarily. Huh. Interesting. Tykkää kyllä elä epäilyttämään paljon tulesta. <laughs> My arrows always strike true. Can you open that imperial cash? Yeah, okay. Hang on, let me try. Don't think you're in line there. Hey, that actually worked. Look out, danger! Lower your weapon, elf. I'll confer with the other mortal after they search the cache. What did you find? Anything interesting in there? Well, what was inside the cache? Have we finally discovered the secret of the Longhouse Emperors? Let me take a look. Yeah, that's a code, all right. Imperial. Just like in the journal I found at Black Drake Villa. I know someone who can decipher this. He helped me with the journal. I'm sure I can get him to translate this scroll too. Eli tota, mitä ne teki, niin ne jako salaisuuden osia ja koodas ne. Not far from here. Just outside Elden Root. Just look for the camp with all the books in it. I'll meet you there. 
Let's just say I've known him for a very long time, and I trust him with my life. Like I said, he translated the journal I found. The one written by Emperor Leovic that led me here. Tell me why we should trust that Daedra lady, though. All right, if you say so. I suppose if she's willing to help, we have to give her the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to watch her like a hawk, though. You never count your seeds before they sprout, my great aunt Laurel always said. Now that you've satisfied the Wood Elf's curiosity, it's time to satisfy mine. Show me what the cash contained, little mortal. We already knew this concerned Emperor Leovic, and I cannot read those coded words. As much as this mystery intrigues me, it has also begun to bore me. If we don't solve some piece of the puzzle soon, I may just look elsewhere for entertainment. <laughs> the fate of your world, little mortal, not mine. But do not fear. The mortal realm has always amused me. I will aid you as I can. Provided such efforts continue to benefit me as well. Alas, I cannot help decipher the Emperor's code. So, the Wood Elf is useful after all. Interesting. I will open a portal to this Elden Root to expedite your journey. When the opportunity presents itself, ask the Wood Elf how she was able to break that ward. It's only like a I sense something powerful. Not yet, but I have my finest banekin working on it, even as we speak. Go, little mortal. Solve the mysteries before you while I ponder the various clues we've pulled together. I will find you when one of us has something new to report. This portal shall take you to Elden Root. Do not doubt it. I sense there's more to this mystery than the politics of emperors. Baragon, this is my friend. We've got a scroll to show you. Evely says you have something for me to look at. Let me take a look. Oh, Imperial, all right. Specifically, this is Emperor Leovic's personal code. Luckily, I know it well. Unfortunately, I don't have Leovic's signet ring. Without that, I can't decipher the code. Niko se Leovic kuoli vasta mitä? Viitisen vuotta ennen tämän, tämän peruspelin alkua. You have a signet ring? Why yes, this does appear to be Emperor Leovic's. At least it's one of them. He certainly loved his jewelry. So first that journal that Everly brought me, and now this. What have you and my sister gotten into this time? <laughs> my younger sister, yes. I used to regale her with stories of my adventures. Back before I became a scribe in Emperor Morikar's court, no I worked stick. for both him and his son Leovic. Evely says I sling words the way she looses arrows, fast and on target. Technically, I was an adventurer, then a scribe. Turned out I preferred ink and parchment to danger and daring do. Unfortunately, I think I put the wrong ideas into little Evely's head. Anyway, the scrolls over there deciphered and everything. Really. She's told me all about you. You were all over her letters from Orsinium. Oh. And when she got back, she rarely said five words that didn't include some anecdote of your time together. You really made an impression. Nice to finally meet you. Mm, okay, eli Varenin, eli sen seuraavan keisarin niin kuin kap, kapina oli menossa. Ja niin kuin kiireessä piti piilottaa salaisuuksia. Four ambitious pieces. Okei, okay. eli se oli aika vahvasti palvo. Dragonia. 
Leovikhan oli se, joka ää, tota noin, niin kuin muutti lakia, että Dietrojen palvominen ei olisi, ei olisi ollut laitonta. Four ambitions. Taking flame. Stevart Lubus. Okay. Do not fail to make a run as they go. Okay, see you later. Eli niin me, Mehrunen Stegonin palvonta oli jotenkin savupiirtin keisareiden niin syynä, että miten ne pääsi valtaan. Varo Lupus? He hired me to investigate Black Dragon. No niinpä tietysti. But why is the word ambitions capitalized? It must mean something special. Thanks for helping me. Here, take part of what Lupus already paid me. There's more if you come with me to Riften. The deciphered document. It mentions the person who hired me, Varel Lupus. Could he really be Emperor Leovik's steward? I guess it's possible. Yes, anyway, yeah. I'm supposed to bring this book I recovered to him. Well, to his contact in Riften, anyway. Varel Lupus sent me to retrieve the book from Black Drake Villa, one of the Longhouse Emperor's hidden retreats. I found it and a journal, the one that led me to Nasalis. It's a strange old tome. I can't read any of the words. If they are words, it's written in a language I've never seen before. Looking at the pages makes my eyes hurt. And just carrying it around, it's kind of uncomfortable. Will you come with me to Riften? I want to deliver the book and be done with this business. I never actually met with Floral Lupus directly. Uh -huh. Everything was done through an intermediary, a mage named Renna. We can find her at the Mage's Guild Hall in Riften. My brother has a cart we can use to make the journey, or I can just meet you there. Didn't I? I guess the subject just never came up. Besides, we were pretty busy most of the time back in Orsinium. There weren't too many opportunities to tell you about my extended family. Hey, you brought it up. And I have a perfectly fine amount of brothers and sisters. About the usual for a clan of wood elves from the deep forest. There's twelve of us in the family, but I'm the youngest. Neither Forrell's letters nor my discussion with Renner provided much information. They told me where to look and gave me a map. It had a description of the book written in the corner. I've been carrying it around for a while now. It's... difficult. It's hard to describe. It's like carrying a weight, but not like a heavy pack or anything. More like a burden. A constant worry that never subsides. I've also had... <laughs> Dream, okay. Lately. Bad ones, but I don't want to talk about them, not yet. Those feelings weren't there at the beginning. Plus, I found that journal. I took it to my brother to decipher. By then, I realized the Longhouse Emperors were hiding something. I wanted to know more, so I went to Nay Salis, met you, and here we are. Yeah, I thought of that. He took one look at the thing and handed it right back to me. Said it wasn't any language he ever saw and wanted nothing to do with it. Some brother, right? Before we found the document my brother deciphered for us, I assumed he was a scholar or a book collector or something. I had no idea he was the steward of the last Longhouse Emperor. We never met. Just exchanged letters until he sent me to Renna. Renna's some kind of mage. She gave me Don't the final instructions for my mission to the villa and handed over the gold. Well, the first payment. I'm promised more when I deliver the book. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get a fair share of the reward. Hmm. Yep, I looked over. Everly is as brave as the Grot Oak is tall, but someone else will be interested in this secret. Someone dangerous, most likely. You'll need to be careful for the both of you. Because my sister doesn't know the meaning of that word. <laughs> what? The creepy book with the weird writing? Nope. Not a thing. I took one look at it and gave it right back to her. It's not good. I told her to find a deep hole to toss it into. But my sister has never been good at taking advice. 
are deal in codes and ancient languages, not arcane tomes and daedric artifacts. I'll tell you exactly what I told Everly. I don't know what that book is, and I don't want to know. If you have any sense, you'll tell her the same. Hmm, yeah, like Jesus, no. Davon's watch. What I wouldn't have given to see Bolreth destroy the Daggerfall army. Riften toisella ajalla. Tuhat vuotta ennen Skyrimia. Että... you're here. I wasn't looking forward to facing Rena alone. Not after what we found out. Yeah, I spotted her in the main hall. Look, I've been thinking. Since Faral Lupus and Rena weren't totally honest with me, I might as well use an intermediary of my own. Plus, something's not right about all this. Will you talk to Rena for me? I'm not sure, but I want to keep watch. I've had the feeling that someone's been following me since I arrived in Riften. I might be acting like a cracked acorn, but better safe than sorry, right? Yes. Is there something I can help you with? Everly? She found Farrell's book? Oh, that's wonderful news. But why is Everly standing way over there? And why are you talking to me instead of her? What's this all about, stranger? Not completely honest. Just what are you implying? Is Evely attempting to change the terms of our deal? Farrell offered a fair price for what he asked her to do. Quiet! If certain ears heard those words, our lives wouldn't be worth a hawker's blister. We suppose it's time for Evely to meet Farrell. We have a house here in Riften, around the corner from the bank. Just knock two times or he won't respond. More and more like an investigative veil novel all the time. Tai Let's find Rena's novel. house. I want to finally meet Faro Lupus in person, so he can tell me everything he knows about the Emperor's secret. Lupus onko se ihmissusi? Tätä Richmanille ei ole välttämättä millä tavalla tapu, että joku on ihmissusi. Se on vaan hirsinen sivunaama. Käsini Dark Brotherhood sattala. Oh, Farrell! I told him to forget about the past, but did he listen? No. You, you know about that? Maybe, probably. Farrell never told me a lot about his time serving the Emperor, but I knew it was on his mind recently. That's why he hired Evely. He said he wanted to make things right. She, oh gods, that's the sign of the Dark Brotherhood. They assassinated my poor Farrell. 
haluaa tota noin niinku meidän luulevan silleen. Then I guess you've reached a dead end. Farrell never told me much, just that he needed the book he sent Everly to find. That he had to correct a terrible mistake. He also mentioned that Leovic told him things, but he never got into specifics. I don't care about the book. I want nothing to do with it. If the Dark Brotherhood thinks I know anything, they'll come after me. And you as well. You should forget about Farrell and Leovic and that book. Forget about them and go far, far away. You know, things. State secrets, I suppose. Hidden dreams, wild desires. Farrell helped raise the Emperor. They were close. Or as close as the most powerful man in the world and his steward can be. Once, Farrell mentioned another secret. Ambitions. No, I don't recall any mention of that. Farrell didn't say much, just referred to something as the secret of the Longhouse Emperors. I got the feeling it had something to do with Daedra worship and some sort of weapons. <laughs> That's all I know. Come on, let's talk outside. I'll meet you out back under the dock. <laughs> okay, so that was a bit of a bit of Aseita. Metafysikaalisia vai ihan niinku fysikaalisia taseita. What do you think? Did the Dark Brotherhood really assassinate Farrell Lupus? Is this book he sent me to retrieve really that important? I'm not sure what we should do next, so if you have any ideas, I can't wait to hear them. That about sums it up. Plus the dreams I've been having. Ever since I found that book, I've been having the most strange and disturbing dreams. Nothing specific. I'm always someplace. A forest, a town. Then the ground starts to shake or fire erupts all around me. Once the place was flooded by a deluge of water, and there are always four animals watching from a nearby hill. A huge boar, a fox, and a pair of identical rams. Weird, huh? You know, I'm attributing the dreams to the book, but it could be something I ate. My diet has been all over the place these past few weeks. Oh, great. The scary Daedra lady is back. Flattery. Say thank you, little mortal. Say thank you, little mortal. I have read the Ensorcelled Scroll, and I know where we need to go next on our quest to learn Leovic's secret. Unless, that is, you and the Elf discovered something in the coded documents. The assassins who follow Mafala? Or are they the ones who serve the Void? No matter. My information actually concerns the secret we seek to uncover. According to the Ensorcelled Scroll, there is another cache annex beneath the Imperial City. Yes, hidden in the Imperial sewers. I will open a portal that will get you close to the annex, but you will need to deal with the wards. For all their reverence of the Daedra, these Longhouse Emperors certainly went out of their way to keep us out. Oh, not me, little mortal. I have no intention of slogging through the muck and the sludge when you are more than capable of handling that. I shall catch up to you after you have dealt with the wards. Go on now, and take the wood elf with you. Did I hear that correctly? Sewers? <laughs> Do you know what's in sewers? Sewage! It's disgusting! All right, all right. Let's just get going before I change my mind. Okay. Go ahead and be self tosiaan So these are the Imperial sewers. Fancy. Ei 
can play me on that again. Waking Flame got here first. Go slow. Let's not alert the cultists until absolutely necessary. Look! A cache! And it's still warded! Turkorak oli iso isä. Leovikin iso isä siis. Niin se on myös... The Longhouse Emperors really did it. They made a deal with Mayroon's Dagon. Joo. We need to find the caches before the cultists still... Papin Lord of Waking Flaming pitää hoidella nää. Another sacrifice for Lord Dagon! Ei ollut valmis. Kolme sukupolvea ja ei ollut vieläkään. Trying to contact Mayrun's Dagon. Let's find that shrine. Mayrun, no shame. Show me where to find your four ambitions. Step through the portal and prove your worth to the Lord of Fire and Flood. Yeah. That cracked acorn is stepping into oblivion. You honor me, Lord Dagon. Look. Behind the statue! A portal! Come on! I 
don't believe it. Is this really oblivion? Täällä mitään kasvokkaa. Pakallisia hangaroundeja. must be some sort of weapons. We can't let them fall into the hands of this cult. The ambitions have been misplaced, and the bargain struck remains unfulfilled. <laughs> Then command me, Lord Dagon. I shall do whatever you ask. You want my ambitions? Then prove your worth and destroy the intruders. Uh huh. Okay. What the hell? Päähenkilö on tässä niin peruspelissä voittanut molat puolin Mutta siinä oli ehkä vähän jotain taustalla erikoista. You never cease to intrigue me, little mortal. Is that the distinct scent of Mayrun's Dagon and the Deadlands that lingers about you like a cloud of flesh flies? <laughs> never mind about that. Tell me what you learned and how you ended up in Dagon's realm. Rigging got to go back. 
Yes. The Order of the Waking Flame has been particularly persistent in trying to run down this secret for themselves. Speaking of which, did you learn any more about Leovic's secret? Interesting. I recall something about that. The mortal who went on to become the first of the Longhouse Emperors attempted to make deals with a number of the Daedric Princes. My own lord included. Well, little mortal, your course is clear. We have barely plumbed the depths of this mystery. You must find the people on this list and discover the truth of the Four Ambitions. Meanwhile, I have other avenues to explore. <laughs> now that the scary Daedra lady is gone, let's talk. That was kind of exciting. I've never been to any part of Oblivion before. <laughs> okay. A lot of it felt familiar, though, like places I've seen in my dreams lately. Anyway, thanks to everything we learned, I know exactly what needs to happen next. We need to find the people on that list, warn them about the Dark Brotherhood, see what they can tell us about the ambitions, and what I should do with this book. Hey, thanks, by the way. I never got the rest of my pay, but I can spare this for now. I'll start the search in Leowin. That's where Chief Counselor Lobidicus was last I heard. I think he's helping to govern the city or something. Once I get the lay of the land, I'll send word to you. You know, in case you still want to help and all. Not a lot, really. I've never been up in that area. As far as I know, it's an Imperial city on the Topal Bay. So far, it's been able to keep the Three Banners Wall mostly away from its borders. Or so the Heralds have reported. I don't know. I usually just make things up along the way. <laughs> Me, but the I others suppose do. I'll offer my assistance and see what happens. Once I make some contacts, I'll send word. If you're still interested in solving this mystery, you can meet me then. I think so. This all started when Varel Lupus sent me to find this book, and that put me on the trail of Emperor Leovic's secret. Now we know that the secret concerns a deal made with Mayrun's Dagon and something called the Four Ambitions. Well, we know the Dark Brotherhood murdered Varel Lupus, who turned out to be the Emperor's steward. And we know that the Waking Flame are Dagonists seeking the Ambitions. In Leovic's notes, the Ambitions were described as some sort of weapon. Yeah, not sure how I feel about the scary Daedra lady, but her ominous warning makes my leaves shudder. If Mayrun's Dagon has his sights set on Tamriel, we're in for all sorts of disasters. Whatever the Longhouse Emperor has promised, it can't be good. Right. I'm not an expert on Imperial politics, but I recognize Leviticus's name. He was on the Elder Council before the Empire fell. I remember listening to a herald in Elden Reef. They brought news that Leviticus was alive and serving in Leowin. Mm, Ainakin boksahtaa kivasti. Toi on aika jännä, että mitä tästä voi tulla. Ilmeisesti ne on... Ne on... Aika ison alueen tekemässä. Eli Leija Viin on tossa. Sitten niinku siinä on joen vartta. Blackwood on tossa noin niinku... Mustan, mustan suon niinku... Musta metsä, mustan suon... Tienoilla ja siellä on Kideonin kaupunki, mikä tunnetaan... 2920 kirjasta. Elder Scrolls no, äh, romaanista, mikä on, niin löytyy pelistä. Niin, niin, ja se on aika tuntematonta alue, että muutama kirjallista läht lähdetään huolen laskematta. Eli niin Zenimaksun periaatteessa sen alueen pystyn nyt aika, aika vapaasti itse niin määrittelemään, kun taas tämä tää, niin Nibeneen laakso tästä näin joen varsi leijaviin. Niin, niin se on tuttu alue tuosta noin niin kuin Oblivionista. Oblivion oli itse asiassa, se oli vähän hassun muotoinen se. Oblivionin pelialue oli niinku täältä. Tää, tää näin alue. Niin sieltä on tää näin kuin ihan, ihan tää näin kuin läntisin osa. Ja 
nyt tulee tähän näin tää Nipeneen alue. Eli täytyy mielenkiintoista kyllä. Tuossa on aika monta, monta buffia Erres Scrolls Loren suuntaan, mikä me voi mennä aika syvällisiksi. Mutta että muuten siitä tulee tämmönen eeppinen fantasia seikka. Tietenkin tää on MMORPG. Ei välttämättä ole hirveästi liian haastavia tää yksin pelitehtävät, vaan niin kun joka alueella tulee sitten näitä näin niin trialeita. Eli tässä oli viimeisin, viimeisin lisä, lisäosa oli tää Reedsin alue, läntinen Skyrim ja Reeds. Ja tosiaan Reedsissäkin oli, tuli sitten näitä näin niin kun dunkkuja ja muita tällaisia näin niin kun trialeita, mit, mitä voi niin kun tehdä. Sen lisäksi siinä tuli vielä tää alauumela ei kun Black Reed siis. Et nä näin edespäin. Äh, mulla on aika kova luottu tämän pelin kehittäjiin. Äh, ovat tuottaneet monta hyvää lisäosaa monen vuoden ajan. Ja se on hirveän hyvä juttu. Yleensä näissä peleissä, MMO-peleissä, sitten kun niitä enää viittää kehittää, niin siinä vaiheessa kannattaa miettiä pelin vaihtamista. Mutta tämä, täl tältä kertaa tämä on lyhyt katsaus tähän näin niin tulevaan lisäosaan e Esossa.